What's up, y'all? College football is approaching fast. Check out another version of the Boss and the Sauce show coming up right now. All right, baby. Hook 'em horns time. Hook 'em horns. We're in we're in Texas and we're doing it big in Texas. We're talking about the Texas Longhorns, the team last year. They finished up 10 and 4. And who can forget that game they played against Oklahoma, right? If y'all were following me last year, you knew I was all over that one. But forget about last year. We're talking about this year. We got Tom Herman coming back for his third season. And we know this guy's a winner as he uh he's got a gutty quarterback named Sam Englinger. And Englinger is a guy to watch on the Heisman uh to look because he's a he's a winner also. He had 41 touchdowns last year, only second behind Colt McCoy's 45 touchdown season. So now we're going to talk about uh, what this upcoming season brings for these guys. They got uh, they got wide receiver Colin Johnson, who's a few a uh, few yards shy of a thousand yards. He had about eight touchdowns, and they they boast a pretty potent offense overall. Uh, the rising star they talk about Jordan Woodingham, who was picked up uh, on the uh, a sophomore. He's a, he's a JUCO transfer, and they also bring back five on offense and only two on defense. That's that's kind of hard to believe. They only bring back two defense, and the only guys they're bringing on defense is two safety. So that's going to be a tough, tough look for them. What do you think about this squad, DJ? Well, the way I see it, Coach Tom Herman in his third year, returning five on offense in 2019, but his five is very promising. He returns a quarterback a wide receiver, wide receiver, and a few old linemen. So the offense definitely looks doable. Now the defense, they brought in defensive coordinator Todd Orlando. He'll have his work cut out for him with just two back. And uh, this defense allowed 392 yards a game last year. It'll be exciting to see what they do with that. And also, I, they always say that the next season starts right after the last game. Well, with that in mind, this team goes into 2019 after going four or five of the last, including the bowl game win versus Georgia. I'm very hopeful in this Texas team, but I can't lay it all out on the line until I see them on the field because of the uh, returners on defense and what they're looking like over there. So once I get a quick peek, quick peek of uh, how they're going to be looking for the year, I'll be able to further assess them. But just – from the outside right now, they got a good eight, nine wins solid. Just looking at the the schedule, looking at how they adapted to um, the coach's system last year, not the team in essence, but the other teams that they're going to play. How did they um, adapt to his style of play? Are they on to his offensive schemes? We don't know. The jury's still out on a lot of that stuff, but they returned to the field this year. With uh, they work cut out. They got a decent schedule. They got to see LSU uh, week two. That'll be the number one test right there. If they come out of LSU with a W, they go an easy ten wins plus. If they lose to LSU, they might be looking at an eight, maybe nine win season. Um, but that's what I feel about Texas Longhorns. I like the Longhorns. I wish them the best. But uh, what's our final analysis on this? All right, so the jury is not going to be out for me real early with this squad. I mean, on the defensive side, we are a little light as far as uh, returning starters, but Todd Orlando's always had success on defense. He's got a lot of talent because they recruit very well in Texas. Um, like I say, Herman, he's excellent recruiter, excellent coach. So that doesn't worry me too much as far as the uh, inexperience on the, the starters. They do have some underclassmen with some senior leadership coming back as far as, you know, non-returning senior starters. So I'm not really worried about that too much. This team will compete. They do have the second rest, uh, second best run defense, which you're going to need that over there. And uh, I look for this team uh, late in the season, you know, for that Red River shootout once again, and maybe they play Oklahoma for the second time for the uh, for their part in the Big 12 championship. Now this kid, uh, Allinger, I look for him to be up in New York on Heisman Day. He's a Tim Tebow type quarterback. Kids a winner. He's going to rally the troops. I see a ten win season out of Texas. Yeah, and uh, to note about uh, Andrew there, I was just reading across uh, 
the quick notes right here. I looked in the Lindley magazine, and this just goes back to what I said about um, the season starts right after the last game. So in this interview right here, uh, this was a reporter talked to the uh, Sam Ellinger right after the Sugar Bowl victory and quoted, Sam Ellinger says, we're back. So that just lets you know, this guy is focused. Like you said, he's a Heisman candidate. Um, really going to be somebody to uh, to have to handle right here. Let's hope he stays healthy. And then the Texas yeah. Longhorns uh, do um, very good in the long stretch of things. But that's it right here on the Boss and the Sauce show. Any other thing you want to add to this one, Big Ragu? Or are we out of here? Yeah, we're done with this one. We're on to the next one. <laughs>